Hey everybody, it's your pal Willow. Told you I'd keep you updated on any kind of news about Cobra. King Cobra JFS, that is. Uh, It's not really about his girlfriend, although she gets brought up at a point. He's fighting with another YouTuber who's, uh, I guess, talking smack about him. A 50-year-old dude in a nursing home. Way to go, Josh. You really showed him. I guess this guy made a video talking smack about king cobra jfs and he was directed to it one way or another and josh took the time to respond to it now he's kind of reacting to the video but uh if you know the way king cobra jfs uh does like a reaction is he plays the video on his computer but we don't get to see it And we can only hear it because it's just playing through his speakers, horribly distorted. But Boglum Chronicles once again pulled through and went and took the guy's video and synced it with Josh's response, thus giving some much needed context and also repairing the audio. I hate relying so heavily on Boglum Chronicles for things. I intend to do more of my own fixing up of these videos, but in this case, God, that's just way too convenient. But uh, I'm not going to cover everything probably, so obviously still check out Boglum Chronicles edit. And they also, it seems, skipped over a bunch of weird stuff. Josh made some very scary accusations of this guy's character that I'm not going to fact check. I'm just going to completely avoid that. And then finally, uh, this is like a reaction video that he's doing and i really do not like reacting to a reaction video so i'd rather more so just like get some clips and discuss them luckily the way he watches stuff is like he'll play a bit pause it sit back and then and then say something about it and then move on to the next thing so i can fit myself in there he'll watch a clip he'll talk about it i'll talk about it i think it'll work out so there's this stupid youtuber by the name of aaron wills and he's declaring war on cobra oh geez he made a video saying cobra is a train wreck and i responded with i'm more popular than you on youtube how do you like them apples now i think he legitimately did just comment that on the video let me go look let me get a better idea Okay, apparently this guy is getting exactly what he wanted because he's absolutely going off <laughs> on King Cobra. Uh, King Cobra's a train wreck. Could something about? Could you think Bailey was real? I don't know. Like the wrestler? Anxious to read Cobra's comment. I declare war, Cobra. Just a little more about King Cobra JFS ripping Cobra a new one. Has Cobra waved the white flag? This is all in the past day. In the past one day. This guy currently has 406 subscribers. I think at the time that King Cobra made this video that we're talking about, uh, he said he had like 100 something. I don't think I could possibly go through everything here, but it seems like this one might be like a 44 minute uh, roast fest of Jessica. Um, Let me know if I should do like an edited down review of this one. I could... I don't know how long this one's going to take me, but maybe I could like have this up later this evening if you want. I don't know if it's any good. Anyway, I'm going to give up on trying to figure out uh, how we got to this point, but it seems like the guy is just making some videos and then the King Cobra one started taking off for him, so he's just going all in on it. But yes, I believe Josh commented on the video and then I guess that just convinced him to make more. I started this on Monday, the 11th day of March in 2024, at 3 o'clock on the dot in the a.m. I must be lonely. Mm-hmm. You are lonely and you're a sick fuck. You can see it in his eyes. Just that sad little pout on his face. Wow. Man, I guess Josh can uh, sniff out a sicko uh, just by looking at him. Or maybe just by sniffing him. Maybe if they don't smell like tactical soap. King Cobra JFS did respond or react to my uh, comment on my video that I entitled King Cobra JFS is a train wreck. And I'll, I will paraphrase what he said. Let me get out of this and go back to looking at me. There I am. How sexy am I? Man, now I'm, I'm, now I'm doing a King Cobra. Talk about how sexy I am. I did not talk about how sexy I was in the comment section. All I said was, this train wreck is more popular than you on YouTube, so keep talking shit. But that's not she find me attractive. I am a good-looking dude. 
Okay, nice job proving his weird point there. And then I will start webbing and I'm like, oh, I can't get a girlfriend. Well, if I can't get a girlfriend, then what the fuck is Jessica? You have no idea what the fuck I've been through, dude. You have no fucking idea what the fuck I've been through. I've been rejected by every chick I've liked since the fourth grade. Wow, very impressive. You don't know what it's like having no redeeming qualities that a typical woman would enjoy. And then my YouTube trolls love to bully and harass every chick I try to get with. And I finally got a girlfriend, so I can get a girlfriend, and her name's Jessica. Go fuck yourself. Man, I can't get a girlfriend. Man. Oh, here you are fucking saying, I must be lonely. Uh, but then you want to give me shit about bitching about similar things, like, fuck this guy, dude. Now that must have just been bait to get Cobra's attention because we all know that he's been waiting patiently for the right woman to come along for the past six years. He's in no rush. He said it every single day, multiple times, that he's in no rush to find a woman. <laughs> the right one will come along. He never complained about it. It's true, I can't get a girlfriend, but don't get me wet bagging about it. Oh, you're whining about it right now. You're whining about it. The look on your face right now at two minutes and ten seconds says all that needs to be said, dude. You are an open book and you're way too easy to read. <clears throat> I don't whine about it. I express myself. There's nothing wrong with going on YouTube and being like, this is how I feel. And then you connect with other motherfuckers who feel the same way, dude. This dumbass motherfucker. Man, I would love to get back to that King Cobra JFS, the one with a narrative that had things to express, just thoughts of the day that weren't just the same thought every single day. Wouldn't that be nice? Girls don't like me. And girls do like me, they're just afraid to admit it because of my fucking asshole trolls. That was while he was in his 20s, he was bitching about that. When I'm bagging about how he couldn't get a girl. <laughs> I've had plenty of pussy, dude, probably a lot more than you have. In his prime. You're in your 20s. If you can't get a girl when you're in your 20s. In my defense, I've learned that the, having a girlfriend is not the end-all game. If you can't get one, it's no big deal. If somebody in my 20s would have told me to just wait patiently and keep doing your thing, that would have been the best advice. But... You can't get a girl. Period. And he had some women, but look at them. Listen to them. Watch them. Ooh, shouldn't be talking smack about Jessica like that. Man, I talk shit about Cobra all the time. I'm, I'm, thank God he hasn't made one of these videos about me. I'd probably stop bugging him if he did. Is your girlfriend, bud? I don't think he was happy with any of them. One chick lasted like one day. The other chick, another chick lasted like two weeks, a little more than two. And then there's this Jessica wreck. Well, you want to call Jessica a wreck? This fucking, look at the sad look on his face. Okay. And you want to call Jessica a wreck. You are so fucking jealous of me and Jessica's f fucking relationship. You are jealous of my YouTube fame. And all I had to do to trigger this asshole into making a video response was leave a comment. Hilarious, dude. Dance for me, my monkey. Dance. Bro, he's punching up. It doesn't really count if you're getting responses from a guy with a hundred subscribers. Is he still with her? I guess I shouldn't say you're still with her. This is my response directly to Cobra. Oh, I'm still with her. She's coming to see me on my birthday. Suck it. Well, thanks for pointing it out. I wish you must be very proud of yourself that you have more subscribers than someone who has 132. Congratulations. Great job. I mean, obviously, but I would have more if I was a train wreck, too. Land bag about not getting a girl and, I don't know, whatever else you do. Play bad guitar. Play bad guitar? Okay, let's see you fucking get a record deal. You want to accuse me of playing bad guitar? Let's see you play guitar on YouTube. Let's see you rack up an underground record deal with a fan of your videos that supports your endeavors and then gets inspired by your endeavors to start their own record company. Go ahead, let's see it. Go ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. Credit where credit is due. So I went, I told myself, you are always bragging about how you can sing and play guitar. So I had to go check out your music. I did. I think it was Sinister Snakes. Sinister Snakes I went and checked out. And I quickly learned that you can neither sing nor play guitar. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I can't sing right. I can sing like the Beatles. I can sing like Elvis Presley. I can sing like Johnny Cash. I can sing like the Backstreet Boys. I have the songbird voice of a generation. I don't see you fucking singing or playing guitar on YouTube. And hey, you know what? If I sucked at my music, people wouldn't listen to it. They wouldn't buy it off of deathbed tapes. Oh, God damn it. I needed a good laugh. This is hilarious. 
Oh, man, that was brutal. Uh, songbird voice of a generation right here. Wow. Coming from someone who has a lot of interest in singing and uh, understanding the voice, I don't think King Cobra JFS sounds very good when he sings. He would probably excel in certain styles with the right technique. The drinking heavily and smoking and everything else is definitely not going to help him, though. I do think there are times, though, that people get hung up on holding people to the standard of, like, classically trained musicians doing, like, Broadway and opera. But uh, at the end of the day, it really only matters if uh, people are tuning into it or not. I think Bruce Springsteen's a pretty bad singer generally, but gosh, I do love listening to all of his songs. So, uh, you know what? I think Cobra's got a point there. The, the People are tuning in. People are searching up his music and listening to it. Maybe mostly ironically, but either way, he's getting people listening to his music, which is pretty cool. His terrible, terrible music. I highly recommend the video that I posted on my channel of him doing karaoke. Sometimes in streams, he'll do like this little sing-along thing where he'll play music in his headphones that none of us can hear, but he's singing along to it very badly. Uh, and I just took those and I put them to instrumental tracks of the songs he was listening to. came out amazing. I can't help but this chick's after I sing these songs. And all the lovers when you had the chance to give everybody something about what you love Your voice is a weak rip off of Ozzy's. <laughs> rip off of Ozzy's. <laughs> not having a girlfriend, not getting any a girlfriend. There's no question I can't get a girlfriend. I'm 50 years old, or about to be 50. I'm paralyzed, and I'm uh, living in a nursing home. Where the hell am I going to meet a girl? So yeah, you have more subscribers than I do on YouTube, but I've had better looking and more girlfriends than you've had. <laughs> I highly doubt that. Oh, oh my God, that is hilarious. Oh, I can't right now. No, 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 no. You don't know the chicks I've had. It ain't about looks, playa. It's if she makes you happy. You know, if you can manage to find a girlfriend that's super hot or hot enough to get the job done, you know, and she makes you happy, and that's what it's all about. I never had to go to a dating site. I never had to get a sex doll. I've never used dating websites unintentionally. And the sex dolls were sent to me by my, by my fans. Something you don't have. Weird flex coming from the guy. He's like, sure, I'm exceptionally undesirable now, but back in the day, I definitely had it going on. Please trust me. What does he mean by he hasn't used a dating site unintentionally? Does, does he mean intentionally? Has he one time unintentionally used a dating site? I matched with somebody. I thought this was a video game. Recently was checking out uh, the the most recent bite-sized Cobra vids little documentary section and was very surprised to learn that one of his sex dolls, he said he broke it by using the wrong soap and it melted the silicone, but then apparently it came out that he actually just butchered her. <laughs> Did that really happen? I don't know. I hope to turn this into a war. All I could do is put me on the map. You like you, you hope not to turn us into a war, but here you are declaring war on me. You are so fucking stupid, dude. Actually, Josh, I think he said he hopes to turn this into a war, not he hopes not to turn this into a war. That's another thing. I mean, I know your uh, your uh, your fans are going to bat for you. I got another comment on there from one of your fans saying that uh, I huff air air duster, whatever that is, I huff air duster, and then uh, jizz off in uh, a fifty year old Wendy's poon. <laughs> what the fuck is he even talking about? <laughs> Uh, 50-year-old Wendy's Poon, what the fuck are you on about? My fans are taking the crap that I do in my YouTube videos and then spreading lies about me to make fun of me and then telling it to you to create more drama and controversy. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't expect him to have a different response to that, but... <laughs> 
pretty sure he was huffing air duster. He even said he stopped doing it because <laughs> it stopped getting him high. Which I feel can only mean that there's just nothing left going on, right? I feel like the only reason that wouldn't work is just because there's nothing left for it to work on. To that person I say you should ask Cobra about Wendy's poon. He worked there. She may have stopped in every now and again for uh, Cobra's bacon ate her. <laughs> Fuck this guy, dude. This is fucking delightful. God, spitting into the spittoon on YouTube. <laughs> so gross. Uh, this is a horrible combination because this guy is difficult to understand. And Cobra is not good at understanding. I'm pretty sure the guy was saying that there's trolls in his comments saying, telling the guy that he <laughs> must huff air duster and then get 50 year old wendy's boon like things things that cobra does they're saying he does it just to rile things up and and josh is not understanding that he was talking about himself and it's just a whole mess that's just my trolls making fun of the fact that jessica's almost 40 and they can't handle that i have a girlfriend and everyone's so fucking triggered by me and jessica's relationship is fucking hilarious her trolls and my trolls are working together to try to break us up, and it's not going to happen. Wah! I'm sure a Venn diagram of your trolls and Jessica's trolls is just a solid circle. I don't, you can, I don't see how you can argue that you're uh, not a train wreck, Cobra, if you're watching this. How you can say you're not a train wreck? Look at the girlfriends you've had, the girls you get with. The, the friends you have or had. I got more friends in life than you do, I guarantee you, bud. My phone blowing up every day because people want to call me and they go, Cobra, I'm a fan of your videos. Thanks, man. I appreciate your support. They're all train wrecks. You're a train wreck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so he picks fights with people he's jealous of. And I'm like, bro, my life is going a hell of a lot better than yours is, dude. Fucking holy shit. Because you know what I'm doing right now? I'm living at home in my own apartment. You're already fucking on YouTube complaining about your fucking life situation as it is. So shut the fuck up, dude. Is he really telling the 50-year-old disabled guy in a nursing home, at least I'm not a 50-year-old disabled guy in a nursing home? That's that's what you that's your diss? Fucking bitching about somebody who's 20 plus years younger than you, who's got more in life going for him than you'll ever have. Your past is behind you. Fuck you. Okay? Like I pay for most of my shit through my YouTube. Where do you think the food hacks come from? Busting my ass on YouTube making random videos to entertain sad fucks like you and people who actually give a shit and my YouTube trolls alike. And look what it gets me. This guy doesn't even fucking know me, dude. I gotta say, this guy's doing a great job of promoting his own channel by just getting King Cobra riled up enough to just go on a long rant about him. I mean, not a difficult feat by any means. I, well, I landed with one gig. I landed, I was cast in a company, a professional company. You know how that works. If you're such a badass little fucking actor, how come you don't have a movie part in Hollywood? This is all my response to Cobra. I hope we do get a war started. It'll put me on the map. See, this is the point. I'm not gonna fucking start a war with you because you're only doing it to chase clout. You're too fucking lazy to create your own content and then just wait for it to happen like I did. I'm not gonna start a war with this piece of shit. I've already fucking won, dude. You are a fucking loser and a half. I mean, every minute of attention you're giving this guy is another win for him. Well, we attack from all sides, from your people. That's fine. I don't have very many people to attack you. But my, some of my people, at least one of my people, is on your side. I don't give a shit if your people attack me, dude. I've been bullied on fucking YouTube for the well over the last 10 years of my life. You have no idea what the fuck I've been through on YouTube. Your people or not shit. If I can handle my fucking YouTube trolls, I can handle your bitch ass fucking fans. Who would win in a fight? King Cobra's self-esteem or one guy saying that he's undesirable to women and doesn't make good music? It should have gone without saying, it should have gone without saying, but it didn't. You had to say it. I'm more popular than you on YouTube. Let's see, well over almost 100k subscribers. What the fuck are you doing with your sad life? Missing your acting career, pouting because you can't find a girlfriend because you're lonely. 
Oh, wah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, his well over almost 100K on YouTube. I think I remember him passing me in subscribers, and now he's just shot up way above it, and I'm still here. Cobra wins again. This guy claims to be 50 years old. You know what's fucking sad is it's not sad, it's the fucking truth. My dad is five years older than this fucking prick, and he understands technology a lot better than he does. Holy shit. Great diss. You think you're cool? You'll never be Clint. I'm very proud of my 135 subscribers I have. Very happy about that. My plan is to keep growing it. Yeah, don't subscribe to this fucking loser. Just ignore him. This is the only fucking video response I'm going to make. I'm not going to put this fucking asshole on the map. You want to get on the map on YouTube? Let me give you some advice, dude. Attacking YouTubers who are more famous than you are because you're jealous of their life is not going to get you anywhere. It hasn't worked for me yet. Not only dog are you singing singing because you brag about your singing. I don't, you don't hear me bragging about how I sing because I cannot sing at all. I can't carry a tune in a bucket with a lid on it. So, okay, you're going to sit here and be like, Koba, you're a horrible singer, but singing's not my thing. I mean, this guy is fucking insufferable. If it's not your thing, you know, I don't criticize your acting and then turn around and be like, well, acting's not my thing. Like, what the fuck, dude? Fuck off. I brag about my singing because I know I got the voice. And there's nothing wrong with being... There's nothing wrong with bragging about something you're proud of and taking pride in your craft. I will take Cobra's bragging about his music absolutely any day over some drama club alumni singing loudly and doing way too much when no one asked them to in a public space. That's the worst kind of gloating. I have to warm up. I have to warm up. Or you could not do anything. Well, I've had... Eat your heart out, Cobra. I've had goth girls that like, just like the ones you're interested in. No, you have not. You were just saying this crap to try to make me fucking triggered and jealous. And it's so obvious, otherwise you wouldn't say all the crap you said before. It calling me a crappy singer, and then you call Ozzy Osbourne tone deaf. If you had a smoking hot goth chick at your side, you wouldn't turn her down. What goth girls is bro talking about? What, did he meet a girl at uh, the Cure concert? In 1980? What kind of goth are we talking here? Bro spent time in a gothic cathedral in the Middle Ages? Did bro contribute to the fall of the Roman Empire? What goths? Alright, I think that's all I got for this. You know, thanks for uh, checking out the Cobra content. Bye-bye.